Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended DNH. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs, all without the lines. Trust and service. That's our DNH. and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, August the 27th. I want to introduce you to my friend Valerie Chafin. Hi, Paul. Second chance. Good to have nice you here, Valerie. Again. But you don't have any little kitties or doggies well, I'm today. I'm all by myself today. Sorry, you just got to deal with me today. Yeah, it's not as exciting <laughs> when you <laughs> But uh, you're here today to talk about an event called Pouring for Paws. Yes. Sit, stay, sip. Is that the greatest tagline <laughs> for a wine tasting yeah. sit, for an animal group? Sit, stay, sip. Yes. Right. And this is going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow night at 6 o'clock from 6 to 9 at the Columbia Art League and Missouri Theater. Okay. This is obviously, it's a fundraiser for, for Second, Second Chance. Chance. That's right. So what's going to happen? We're going to drink wine that's coming from Bushwhacker Bend and Stonehill and Le Bourgeois and Serenity Valley. Uh -huh. They're all donating their wines because we wanted a local wine event. And we're going to be eating Glenn's Cafe food oh. and Peggy Jean's pies. Oh. So it's oh. a completely local oriented fundraiser for us because we're celebrating our 30th birthday this year uh -huh. and we're here for 30 years because of this community they wanted us here and they're keeping us here so we wanted to have a fun event and drink a little bit that would that involve local groups and so they're all local wineries and local food that is that is so very very nice and how much money are you hoping that you will raise with this millions but I'd settle, <laughs> but I'd settle for a few thousand and okay. the because the tickets aren't very much they're only $25 a piece $30 at the door and and that gets you all those wines and that great food and a glass that's got the cutest little logo you've ever seen on it. So now, is there enough food there for dinner or do you eat dinner before you come? You might want to eat before you come. This is kind of finger, finger food. food. This okay. is just for finger the, food. Yeah, finger food that go with the wine. But remember, and then you got those Peggy Jean pies for dessert. And we do have Peggy Jean's pies. So you've got, uh, you've got a wonderful evening and it all goes to benefit Second Chance, yes. which is saved Thousands, thousands and thousands and thousands of lives over 30 years. Yeah, we're thinking somewhere around 14,000 lives over the past 30 years. Yeah. So if people want more information on this, they go to your website? Well, we've got a website just for this event. It's really long, so I'll say it kind of slow. Columbia 2 Chance dot org backslash pouring for pause but if you just google pouring for pause you'll find us so. so you can't go just to the second chance website you can't it'll direct you to it but the pouring for pause has its own website and you can get tickets right on the website okay okay or you can get them at the door you can get them at the door that's All right. right and uh do you have any are, are any pets going to be there that no, night no the art lee's kind of funny about our dogs and cats being around their their art <laughs> and the missouri Why? theater's real funny about it so <laughs> No, we'll just have them there in spirit. We may have a little accident. Okay. All right. It's pouring for pause. Sit, stay, sip. It's tomorrow, 6 o'clock uh, at the Art League and the Missouri Theater. Yes, it is. All right. Valerie Chafin, thank you so much for coming Thanks, by. Okay. Continued success with what you're Appreciate doing. Appreciate that. Now, we're going to introduce you to Sandra Flaker and Molly Wagner. It's a Hi. pleasure to have both thank of you, you here. Thanks for having me. And you're here to tell us about the Vincent P. Gorachari. Exactly. Uh, That's right. Foundation. Good. Yes. Right. I am. What, what, what is it, Vincent C. Dorachari Foundation? The foundation began in 2005, and we first uh, started to award uh, to assist uh, persons who are getting uh, treatment for, for cancer. cancer. Mm -hmm. Right. And during the time that they're getting treatment, they often can't work, so they might not be able to pay their bills, their utilities, their rent, their uh, medical expenses, or dental care, transportation. So they can be referred to us by a social worker uh, mm -hmm. through their doctor, and we will receive the uh, referral, and within 24 hours, we have paid their bills. So it kind of lets you them pay, relax. You pay their rent? Their we'll utility? pay up to $750. Mm -hmm. uh, Wow. For them. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we'll do that for them. Yeah. So how did this get started? Uh, Dr. Gurachari was a well-known physician here in Columbia, and uh, he just, out of his own pocket, he would help patients when they had needs. He was just a very good person. He 
contracted cancer, a rare cancer himself, in 2001, and he passed away in 2003. And some people who had worked with him and decided, you know, we need to carry on the tradition that he began of helping people to help people. Yeah. And To uh, keep his legacy alive. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So the foundation began at that time, and we have served over 1,200, about 1,200 people mm. to date and given almost a half million dollars out. Oh, my goodness. So, so you're having an invitational nine ball tournament to yes. raise money. What is that? Well, Billiards on Broadway has sponsored the tournament for five years now. This is our fifth annual tournament. And when is this going to be? On September the 12th. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we are looking for teams and sponsors. We host the event. I... I have a special place in my heart for people struggling with cancer, and when I was approached by the Gurachari Foundation, I couldn't wait to have our first one. And every year it's grown, and we raise quite a bit of money uh -huh. every year. So, so, okay, how do people how do people uh, sign up for this? Well, they can come down to Billiards on Broadway. They can go to the website of the Gurachari Foundation, mm -hmm. and like Valerie did, just Google the Nine Ball Tournament for the. Gurachari Foundation, and that will give them there. Or they can call Billiards at 449-0116. And how much does it cost to be part of the... Uh... Well, there's lots of different ways. You can have a two-person team for $100. You can sponsor a table for $200. And if you can't decide what to do, $250 will get you both, a sponsorship and a team. Oh, so yeah. if you're if you just can't decide, just make a, a donation of two hundred and fifty dollars, right. sure. and you got everything. And yeah. what's great about it? It's not for professional pool players. This is a fun event. It's you, a lot of fun. You get to. So eat. what if you don't know how to play pool at all? That's even better. You'll have a great time. They, uh, <laughs> my daughter played last year, and she doesn't play very often, and she came in second. Because no. we really don't want professionals mm -mm. to be there playing. This is for fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fun. And how much are you hoping that you'll raise? Boy, every year we exceed the yeah. previous year. So hopefully six or seven thousand right. dollars. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I thought you were going to say a, a couple million dollars. You know, well, Valerie, yeah. She said to <laughs> she said to scale real high. She said a couple million bucks. Every dime, every dollar stays here in Mid Missouri yes. and, and it helps goes to people, people be, yes. with yes. cancer right. in Mid Missouri. Right. I love it. Uh, and, and you know the thing is, when you are dealing with cancer, you're, you're so emotionally exhausted with it. It's mm -hmm. not just the person who's dealing with it, but the caregivers, mm -hmm. the ones that love them. And it's nice to know that there are organizations available mm -hmm. in our community who understand the situation mm -hmm. and are willing to give a helping hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the website again is? www.docg.org. Doc, Doc G, G. So D-O-C-G-org, and that'll mm -hmm. get it. Right. Thank you so much for coming Thank by. Thank you. Okay, Thank we you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Out of time for today, tomorrow, the State Historical Society. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, audio is Pat Akers from KBIA, our floor director, Lowell Thomas, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Monson. And if there is something you would like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Drop me an email, pepperpmissouri.edu. Bye-bye.